We're talking about football. It should be a good evening tonight for high school football. What a great day today so far. Yeah, beautiful day out there today. Let's turn things over to Jeff with a check of the forecast. Yeah, another fine Friday night for the Friday night lights all across western Pennsylvania. And as we head to a live picture of downtown Pittsburgh, it looks uh, like a chamber of commerce. Autumn afternoon across the area. Lots of sunshine and temperatures have surged into the low 70s in many locations. 71 right now, fair skies and a southwest wind coming in at 8 miles an hour. Elsewhere, 70 at Moss Side Middle School in Monroeville. South wind there at about 3 miles an hour. Elsewhere, 70. Carnegie, Harrison City at Penn Trafford High School, 70 degrees. And 68 at Knock Senior High School. We head to Montour Senior High School where they're getting ready to host Friday night high school football game against South Fayette. So the Lions and the Spartans will tangle this evening. And if you're headed to a game across the area, here's what you can't expect. 64 degrees at 7 o'clock, mainly clear skies. And then a few clouds start rolling in after 9 o'clock as temperatures will gradually work their way into the upper 50s. But a very comfortable and dry evening across the area. Won't be that way tomorrow. By 6 a.m., the temperatures are going to come down. I think right around 49, 50 degrees is where our lows will set up tonight with rain showers arriving in the area sometime mid to late morning tomorrow, a little earlier for areas west and maybe a little later for areas to the east. And that'll cap our temperatures into around 57 for a high tomorrow, but really doesn't shake out very well if you're coming to the pit game at Heinz Field hosting Virginia tomorrow noon, 55. Occasional rain showers damp and dreary throughout the game. By 3 o'clock, the temperature will come down into the lower 50s, so certainly plan accordingly. Now let's step you through hour by hour. We'll start at 8 o'clock this evening. Clear skies across the area. Clouds increase late tonight. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning looks to still be dry across the area, albeit mostly cloudy, but the rain will be knocking on the door and it moves across the area then again by mid to late morning and it's going to continue on and off through the afternoon and into tomorrow evening. We stop the clock at 7 o'clock and you can see a uh, light Rain falling across the area, so a damp setup as we head through the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. And this is all in response to a cold front that's going to be slowly easing through the area tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. And as it does make its approach, you can see it's going to be printing out moisture across the area. I think by 4 o'clock tomorrow in Pittsburgh, we can expect a little over a tenth of an inch of rain. Not a lot, but certainly enough to dampen things up throughout the day tomorrow. And then as we head into tomorrow night, 8 o'clock is where our timeline starts here. You can still see rain in the area. It'll be tapering off overnight tonight. And I think Sunday it's going to be a drier day. There's going to be a couple showers around, but there'll be fewer and further between. But it will be fairly cloudy and cooler behind that front. Temperatures are going to stay in the 40s for highs on Sunday. Tonight, 49 increasing clouds late. Tomorrow, high temperature 57 overcast and damp. Occasional showers through the afternoon on Sunday. We leave in that chance for a couple of showers, but much of the time it probably won't be raining, but it will be cloudy. 45, 50 on Monday, still partly cloudy on Halloween. 52, same number Wednesday, but we'll see some afternoon showers by midweek. Back to you.